And Lloyd enjoys imprisonment here at the lovely Hampton Inn at part 23. And ladies and gentlemen, normally we don't like to end parts Where in the middle of a cutscene, but so much shit went going? down last part. That Johnny had to stop, that Johnny's Adobe <laughs> editor crashed. <laughs> it's like, ooh, slow down there, Johnny. <laughs> exactly, I can't take it anymore. The suspense, the twist, the turns. We're in Triet Desert. That was a long way. As the background music gave away. Well, this is the general theme used with every Renegade base. These guys aren't designs. What? Things happened at once. I'm confused too. Then I was starting to know. Collect got kidnapped. Kratos betrayed us. Remyel betrayed us. We found out Idrassio and Crucius are one, and we got our shit wrecked. When we were about to be killed in the Tower of Salvation. Oh, there's Clyde. Never mind. Sorry, I thought she was kidnapped. <laughs> Her body and soul were kidnapped. Yeah, and we, we must get it back. So what you're saying is that. We the fucked up. Here are and not <laughs> they're also the ones that attack the, uh... They're also the ones that attack the, uh... Martel Temple off of the Celia. So technically, we did violate the non-aggression treaty by attacking the designs at the camp. Although, in all fairness, the Renegades should have fucking said something. What are the Renegades trying to do? They're trying to stop the, uh, whole world regeneration process from going on. Why? Eh. But here's the thing, though. The Renegades are trying are also, like, dressed up in design garb, I guess. Because, like the designs, I'm guessing the Renegades are also half-elves. So it's sort of like, because the designs really put a whole shit stain on half-elves as is, the Renegades want to want to refight them so that they can prove that not all half-elves are evil. Mm -hmm. Except the problem is, though, is that you got, like, a small group here against a force that is unanimously declared as evil by Crucius because, you know, fuck it, they gotta be stopped, and they're doing a whole lot of really awful shit. That would be, uh, Magnus. Right. When he appeared before us. If the designs and Crucius are the same, well, then what about Kratos? Kratos is Crucius. Drassiel's orders. That means he played us from the fucking beginning. That's right. He's our enemy. He deceived us. He admitted it himself. He's one of Crucius's. And Sheena had an idea. <laughs> and Sheena got the bonus points. <laughs> now for the lightning round. Right. He probably joined us to make sure Colette didn't stray from the journey to regenerate the world. Exactly. So basically, Kratos was keeping tabs on us to make sure we didn't get lost. Plus, yeah. if Colette got herself killed, different problem. Yeah. Who hasn't betrayed us yet? Are you gonna betray me? <laughs> Genus! I knew it! I love the beat there. Huh? My finger! <laughs> And now we finally learned this gentleman's name. Hey, that's my assassin's rig. We <laughs> <laughs> just blackmail him with it. <laughs> but Lloyd's too dumb to blackmail. Or too pure, I don't know. So Crucius and the Designs really are the same organization. What part of this don't you get? Crucius controls the Church of Martel in the open and operates the Designs from behind the scenes. Right. The Designs are a subordinate organization within Crucius. Fuck, they're a subsidiary the to the Crucius organization. <laughs> Dang. Those who call themselves angels are half elves who have evolved by using a special type of X sphere called Crucius Crystal. The same shit Collect got. They aren't gods or anything of the sort. Damn. Of course, the church. It's just really advanced science. Magic technology. Mm -hmm. They're half elves too. Yep. Yes. Some of the designs, as well as Crucius and ourselves, are half elves. Half, half. <laughs> yeah, like half. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Hoffa you know elves. Do you intend to have us explain everything? How about you <laughs> I love this fucking part. <laughs> Damn it, Lloyd! Think for yourself, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> uh, like repeat great... after me. Two plus two <laughs> <laughs> equals cot. <laughs> he gets slapped by you, and then Rain slaps him, <laughs> and then Rain slaps Genus, and I have it. <laughs> There's another world beyond silver. Oh, now you think of this. <laughs> Good God, he can learn. 
No one can do that. You can with the eternal sword. That's what you believe. Oh. Our conversation ends here. Our conversation ends here. <laughs> Listen to me, you fucker. You know what's really good at internet debates, apparently? I'm not... Yeah, well, that's what he reminds me of. Our conversation ends here. Go kill yourself. Yeah, right. Seriously. <laughs> You're certainly not on our side. And yet, for some reason, you saved us. Why? You're not as stupid as you seem. Yes, he is. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know why he fights with two swords, dude? Our goal is to stop Martel's revival. Huh? Therefore, the chosen who would become her vessel was an obstacle. Unfortunately, the chosen completed the angel transformation. Because my subordinate is too goddamn stupid. Sorry, sir. Self-preservation. We wouldn't dare lay a hand on. Now we have the key to stop Martel's resurrection. We no longer. I have no idea what that portrait there in the back is, by the way. Uh oh. <laughs> Does anybody walk normally in this goddamn place? Not a one. This is you, Lloyd Irving. Me. Me? Well, what's so special about me? That's none of your concern. Get him. Nobody wants my ass is none of my concern. You will tell me now. <laughs> <laughs> my leg benders. <laughs> I imagine Kratos looking down at the buff going, yeah, I did that. <laughs> you would think uh, Cerulean or blue hair like that would not be forgotten easily. Beware, I got a fox. <laughs> I thought she was going to flip him off. I was like, yeah, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's shitting his pants. <laughs> oh, we just changed that carpet. <laughs> Now I got an EX3 gem, which I kind of hastily slapped on the Lloyd. So I'm going to either give him something like, uh... Alright, I'm switching around a bit here. I'm trying to remember, like, what I want to give him. Because I want to keep him, like, on the T-type, but if I go too far, I'll start leaning toward DS. Colette's an empty shell at this point. Yeah. I mean, what is now... What is she... she now she's pretty much just a weapon. Yeah. So... Why is she still, like, following us? Well, it's more like, I'm, well, here's the thing. This is what I would consider, like, a gameplay limitation or yeah. something like that. Like, they don't want to put too much work into that idea. Yeah. So what you have is Colette that can walk around and move, but she's not really making any cognizant thoughts. Yeah. She'll fight, but you'll notice it's completely fucking different. Like, she'll just go... Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Wait till you see how she, like, wins a battle. It's kind of creepy. Uh, her portion doesn't look any different, though. I have Eternal equipped on Lloyd as well because I want to try to like get something on him, which is a very helpful EX skill throughout this entire game. Yeah. If when you have like Eternal and um, when you have Eternal equipped alone, it does nothing. But if you combine it with other EX skills, you'll unlock a lot of compound EX abilities. Vitality and Eternal gives Lloyd or any character really life up, which permanently increases your maximum HP by like by 0.05. Every uh, occasionally after a battle, and honestly, I've had that go off on me more often than not. It's not an all. It's not necessarily needed all the time, especially when you can buy some black onxes later. But uh, I like it, so it works for me. The only problem is, is that they're both S's. They're both they're gonna lead, lean Lloyd toward the S tech yeah. tree. So if you want to keep him T, you're gonna have to forego it for a bit. And considering you like to keep Lloyd on the T side, yeah, yeah, it's not exactly uh, practical for yourself. I switch off for collect because Sheena needs a break. Nothing was said because, um, you know, she's mean. New enemies, the evil warriors. They're pretty, they're pretty much clusters with hammers, but they like to hit hard. They're, they'll usually thrust the hammer, but if they come down with the uh, hammer itself, that's pretty much done telling you, hey buddy, run away, look out, look what I'm gonna do. They thrust with the hammer? Yeah, you can do that. Like, a lot of two-handed weaponry, some, uh, getting up the strength to come down with it overhead makes you an easy tell. Yeah. So you can easily thrust to like, get your distance away with them. Keep your distance yeah, they'll push them back. I need right. you to be over there. Hey! Get back, buddy. I need you further from me. I like how they're at least not condescending about it, per se. They're just like, wait, what? Lost to you? Proud of you, penis. <laughs> and Lloyd discovered the vitality skull. <laughs> Meanwhile, about. Colette is the exact fucking opposite. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Oops. I realized I had dash on, so that was my fault. So now I just got something called B guard. I forget what that does. It's really unimportant. Avoid it avoids staggering. staggering if you're hip during the back step. 
So I switch around a bit. I realize I'm also about to be X gems. I was kind of nervous there too because I'm getting Magic Knight B later. Yeah. And I'm really hoping I can get the um rare ability I'm going to fucking abuse the <laughs> that, shit out of. That portrait right there was shaded because it looks like she has a really tiny mustache. Right below the nose. <laughs> I kind of see it, but I, I kind of see it. You're right. Alright, here's the puzzle that kind of always fucks me up a bit. Now we get the ball of light again. Lloyd humiliated. Yeah, Lloyd, you kicked his ass. <laughs> he did get stronger, but he's not really attributing it to much because he was holding back. Was Will this happen if you lose the Kratos? Or is it something that only... Is a skit that only plays when you win against Kratos? I think he plays when you win against them. Okay. I think... I think, it's safe, I think it's a safe I, assumption. I know I don't always win against him, especially when the difficulty ramps up. Yeah. But I forget, like, if it changes or not. I'm pretty sure it does. Alright, here's gonna be a little puzzle involving blocks. On elevators! <laughs> oh, this is too much for me. Betrayer Kratos. Kratos gains the title Betrayer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and ironically, it busts up everything. It does. <laughs> Good stack, Rose. When he, it seemed like Rain... I don't get how Rain's beating herself up for not figuring out in time, when in reality, she seems like she pretty much filed out everything and just told not to tell us. Lloyd, shut the fuck up. <laughs> just shut up. Alright, here's what you're going to want to do. Pull blocks. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, what you're going to need to do is find like some sort of power source for the uh, elevator there. And when you do that, what you're going to want to do is... um. Oh, we can find out about you, Jeff Steele's aim, and apparently we're going to do that. I wonder... <sighs> apparently, Martel is really a symbolic entity. Yikes. So, basically, Martel is a farce. <laughs> what is he trying to do by turning Colette into Martel? That we still don't know yet. Apparently, it's world regeneration, but exactly how does that work? You revive her, you turn her into an angel, then what? You grind her into suit that's spread her all over the land? Does it have any... Well, we know, we noticed that uh, in earlier plot elements, we learned that to restore the world to mana, we pretty much are siphoning it from Tethiala. Right. Uh, so, let's say if uh, Colette's transformation was complete, she became the goddess, Martell. Would then she be now? Sent because it seems to me that when we are, what we learned from Remiel is that we pretty much take the supply back from Tatayala to Silveron. Yeah. But what do you need that? But what do you need a goddess for to do that with? I well, that's what I'm saying. Is like, is it is it established that both planets need to live for one to exist, uh, or can one planet hog all the mana while the other one rots and dies? I'm gonna spoil it for you. The answer is both. Okay. We'll, well find that out later. I well is 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 it safe to assume that they want the goddess Martell to reap everything from Tethyala so that Silveront flourishes, but Tethyala has no chance in hell of ever getting that mana back. Both it could be both honestly to be completely honest with you. Yeah. Like I said, there it could go one of two ways depending on what Crucius wants them to do. I I made up a little bridge there so I can get that down there. <laughs> and we're going to leave those two there for a moment because we're going to want to do something with those. What's the blue panel? Is that... Or is the blue just... panel's a switch, which we're going to activate. Okay. Why am I still moving this? Pass me! Stop! <laughs> no, I pass me! No! this block in the name Oh, no, wait. Pass Lord. me's doing it right. Pass me's all right. What pass me is doing is creating a makeshift bridge with these three blocks. I forgot, guys. Sorry. If you take the three blocks here and move them across to there, you'll get those two chests up there. Which is as exciting as it looks, I'm sorry. All of this block pushing just puts me in the mood for Intelligence Cube. I don't like that game. For three minutes, anyway. Exactly. I, I, was like, I, I, I always played those in very short All terms. right! 20, all right, I knocked out 600 lines. IQ, 26. <laughs> Fuck you and your standards. Anyway, I got me a Straw Hat. And an EXM level 2, which is which makes me fucking happy. Straw Hat's for the images. Just don't lose it on windy days. <laughs> now, it's it's helpful to an extent, but uh, let's face facts. I've already got Clara Cats on them. It's not going to help me too much. I gave Colette the defensive charm because uh, I think she's a glass cannon in a way. So, 
Now, I also just check out my accessories here to be sure of what I'm doing. I got my boots next to my aquamarines. That increases it by 10%, so I get rid of the other one. There will be better accessories in due time, rest assured. Thank God I can't wait for one of them. Alright. Now that we're done with that, we're going to poof. Poof. <laughs> we're going to move this onto here and flick on the uh, passageway downstairs. Yep. Well said. Well said, R2D2. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> So now we gotta head down the stairs. We gotta head down the stairs. Lloyd, don't make a fucking iron enemy. Alright, I'm double checking. Thank you, Lloyd, for making a little iron enemy. <laughs> now we head down the stairs. And here's a little water puzzle. I gotta power it up. And here's where I kind of scream and murder because I realize where I fuck up. How so? Fuck! <laughs> Now, you can push that down there, but it really does you no fucking good. I'm like, wait a minute. Mind you, folks, when I went into this, I wasn't going to act like, you know, I'm not completely unfamiliar with it, but some shit I don't remember, and this is one of them. Nah, there what you're some supposed things. to do is, you know those two wooden blocks up there? Yeah. They got to go back on that platform. So I raise that back up there to get the two wooden blocks onto that, then they got to form a bridge to go down here. Yeah. The platforms will travel between floors. And apparently I left the bridge down. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you have to see what I'm doing there at the time. I'm like, ah! I just switch over Lloyd to personal. Okay, here we go. Fuck it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Whoopsie. All because we can't fucking swim. Exactly. Now you gotta make it so that it forms a bridge. Yeah, so it's not just a matter of putting the blocks on the platform. You have to make sure they're next yeah. to each other. Absolutely. It's not much, but it's not one of those things I was like, maybe I should have test played this one first. Honestly, though, of all the things this base your puzzles around, why block pushing? Mm. Is this the only Tales game to do this, or? Oh, well, there's probably other. There's others. It's just like, you know, block pushing was kind of big on this one. And, you know, like they said in the uh, part 5 or 6, Lord Boda likes to do things the hard way. <laughs> it's all a test. Initiation. What's he testing me for? He's testing my patience. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You gotta have... There we go. Steel tempered patience. And, of course, the power is down. I can see Lord getting really fucking annoyed with Boda in this <laughs> shit. <laughs> the electrical wiring in this place is shit. Absolutely. This one's being held by... Bubble gum and paper clips. Hey, it works. Renegades don't have uh, the crucious bucks. <laughs> now we gotta go run all the way back around down those stairs. I catch that, by the way. I gotta tell you, though, this is, uh, I, it was stuff like this. You appreciate no random encounters. Yeah. Nothing back there for me, so. I should hit that switch. I should fire the lightning bolt at the thing. Come on, Matt, what are you doing? Uh, there we go. I, I guess the door <laughs> opened. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I got me a protect ring. That's one of those rare accessories where you take more physical damage, but you will reduce all sorts of elemental damage to do to yourself. I'm all against magical monsters, but honestly, those are kind of pure magical enemies are like few and far and in between. So you lose physical defense, but gain magic defense. Right. Okay. I decided to switch over to get the... Uh, Vitality EX skill. Oops. Damn it. What's so special about me? Those renegades need to hurt. Lloyd sounded like a Tumblr complainer there. Do we really oh, need to enemies. stop here and reflect on this, Lloyd? Lloyd We're still in the base. <laughs> We've got to save Colette somehow. She's going to die if she's made into Martell's vessel. I am Colette. Please insert girder. Shuna, where did you get your X sphere? I am Colette. <laughs> For compassion, enter 25 cents. Imperial Research Academy. Is it Sounds nasty. for people to equip X spheres in Tepeola? No, not at all. The technology was originally brought over by the Renegades. Nowadays, X spheres are mainly attached to machines. Wait a second. So Tepeola and the Renegades are on the same side? Easy, Lord. I'm not sure if we could say that. 
But the renegades were the ones that brought us information about the nature of the two worlds. So yeah. And the plan to so what? The renegades were Sheena's the correspondents. The basically, yeah. look at it this way: the renegades are playing both sides to try to get their goal, Tathayala and Silveron. The Tathayala is obviously the better choice. Lloyd, I suggest we go to Tathayala. <laughs> sure, let me just put my jetpack. <laughs> yeah. <that's it. laughs> Angels are half elves that evolved using special X spheres called Crucius crystals. What's that got to do with going to Tathayala? Colette's <laughs> current condition is caused by the Crucius crystal. Right. Since Tethayala is studying the X spheres, they may know something about Crucius crystals as well. That's a good idea. Well, the considering we've already much tapped out all of Silveron's expertise. Tethayala's chosen at the Imperial Research Academy. There's a chosen in Tethayala, too? She, Gina's wasn't around this when we heard this the before, so... Yeah, I like this they, make, they make that slide, yeah. As well. The Church of Martell exists, too. Huh? The Church? They've been carrying out the regeneration that many times. Why hasn't Martell's vessel been completed already? That's a good question, Lloyd. I'm Lord. curious about that myself. Perhaps those corpses lined up in the Tower of Salvation were... No, never mind. Come on, yeah. Rain. There are too many things well, I guess she just don't want to leave to the answer. It's too much to bear. The sandwich making? So, we're going to Tepeala? Yeah. That's the only lead we have right now. And this time, I'm going to fulfill my role. I'm not going to let Colette bear the burden all by herself anymore. Wait a minute. That's great and all, but how are we going to get to Tepeala? Uh. I'm sure Sheena knows how to get there, correct? My understanding is that you can travel to Tepeala by passing through a distortion in space. How did you get here in the first place? As far as I know, crafts called Riards are the only things that can do that. Riards. Where are they? The Renegades should have them. They should be somewhere on this base. So does she get the silver on thanks to the Renegades? Yeah. Doing? Okay. I just wanted to make that understand. Matt, no. Matt, what are you doing? <laughs> Matt, stop! <laughs> Matt! <laughs> oh, I hate your Matt. <laughs> oh, this place is familiar. This is the uh, first... Same room. Yeah, same room as uh, the first time we are here. And I kick so his ass. So many years ago. <laughs> so many months. <laughs> I also got life up. That happens more often than you think, so feel free to equip that if you want. Mm -hmm. The only problem I have with that, though, for this time around, is that... um. The only problem I have with that, though, is that, like I said, it's going to... Guide me more on the S path, and I want more on my T's. I also try to switch around units and attack, which I don't. So I switch him over to add combo, which increases his attack combo by one. Pretty helpful. Can you get more than one add combo? Yeah. Okay. If you equip, like, all level three gems, you can have, like, a lot of combos, but, uh, I don't really care about that. One more is really all you need. Yeah, I'd imagine something like that wouldn't make Lloyd very, uh, versatile. Right, you just want... I still got no fucking nickname for her. I switch around and take names from time to time. I don't do that all the time, though. Especially with these early titles. Yeah. When you get a new game plus, and you get, like, a lot better titles. If you carry the titles over, you can carry them over and have your characters do a lot of wicked shit. What carries over in new game plus? Whatever you want to. It depends on what you spend at the great shop. Mm. I usually carry over the titles, the recipes, and maybe how many times I've used a particular tech. They see, like, right there, when we're going to the status stuff and we see Colette's portrait, I would appreciate it if they had made a different one for her uh, blank state right now. That <laughs> thousand-mile stare looking straight at you. She's seen some shit. Yeah. And her, have you seen her eyes? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh, and we're out. Remember this place? Reart Anger. <laughs> I know that vending machine from anywhere. Indeed. Reart Anger. Ganger. Anger. <laughs> Wrong word! So these are the Riards. Hurry, they'll catch up to us. <laughs> if only we didn't stop to discuss that shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh no, there's only one seat. All right, then. Don't worry. There's actually four. We only see Lloyd take off, but in reality there are four of them. <laughs> but, oh god, Lloyd, there's two seats in there. I like to spread my feet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> This wasn't in the GameCube version. Yeah, all this is uh, from the PS2 version. Right. And Lloyd is absolutely not amazed <laughs> by this. 
<laughs> We're only traveling between dimensions. Eh, Shit. Seen it once, seen it all. We've made it. Welcome to Tatayala. And it looks no fucking different from Silveron. Exactly, it's parallel world. Whoa, what's happening? We're flying. I know. It just suddenly. Look, the fuel gauge is empty. Don't. <laughs> so We're running on fumes the entire time. Since you've broken the seals in Silveron, there's not enough mana in this world. Oh, that's right, we and reversed that means the flow. We're gonna fall! Ah! Ah! <laughs> no, that was so suspected yes. read! Seriously. Yeah! Oh, woo. No, it's just. No, you can just yeah. see their actors. <laughs> ah! <laughs> they fall to their death. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and our reards are totaled. Them of course, completely. it's too soon to have flying vehicles. Useless unless we get some fuel. <laughs> Let's just take these tubes and siphon some mana from the earth. <laughs> <laughs> You're half right. <laughs> You're half right. <laughs> See, magic. <Yeah. laughs> magic siphoning. Yeah, all except instead of the earth, we need the uh, lightning summon. <laughs> okay. Just open the power up again, boy. What's that? That's the huh? power of salvation. Why is that here? This is Tepeala, right? Of course. The Tower of Salvation appears in the flourishing world. The tower also appeared on your side after Colette received the Oracle, right? I'm sure Tepeala's shows is going. Oh shit! <laughs> Two worlds, two the towers. Martel is also over here, correct? Is the holy ground called Carlon? Mm -hmm. This is actually another drama bomb. Yes. The place where the Tower of Salvation lies is the holy ground of Carlon. The same is in your world. Huh? The holy ground Ain't of Carlon is where the peace treaty was signed to end the ancient war. There can't be two of them. He's right. Are you sure yours isn't a fake? Huh? We have oh. museums that depict. How the hero Mythos called the two ancient kings to the holy ground of Carlon in order to forge a peace treaty. And such records exist on our side as well. Instruments used to sign the treaty can be found in the Palma Costa Academy. Are you sure they're not fakes? So <laughs> either one side is fake, or maybe they're actually both real. Lloyd, that's not possible. Why not? We're in a different dimension! <laughs> What was? We aren't going to get anywhere by pondering about it here. Is it really that far fetched? I mean, before before the likes of Sheena came here, we didn't even realize there was a fucking parallel world. Right. So two of the same things really not that far fetched. I don't know, but so what he's saying you know, is that two of the same things, yes, but two of the exact same things, that would be a bit different. I mean, I can understand it if like maybe the myths were different between the two of them, but we got two of the exact same fucking thing here. It's like playing, I don't know, Sonic Generations and finding yourself in the same world twice. <laughs> you get done that? <laughs> Why can elves tell that? Why not, you jerk? <laughs> Why? Because they're elves. Damn it, Lloyd. <laughs> not sure if racist. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, it takes the time to stretch my legs on Tethayala. I decide to switch over to Vitality for some odd reason because I have a combo. So, have we seen the last of Silveron? I believe we have for a while, yes. Oh, wow. New world, new fi new feelings, new fiends, Pokemon Johto. <laughs> it's a whole new world we live in. Plus, a new battle theme, which I love more than Silverons. Yeah, I was actually listening to this editing. I was like, I can dig this a little more. I can dig this way more. Yeah. Black bats, they fly. And they're bats. Indeed. Oh, Mr. Beast. I switched, I put Lloyd on beast duty for a while because I forgot I had that. Boosh. He got beasted. And I got no grade. I got no skills. <laughs> I'm a hypocrite. What? What? Can you hear me? Hello, Colette. Hello. Think, Colette. Think. What a butthead. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, duty head. <laughs> For a split second, you chose the world. Even if it's not but a false piece. This actually really examines the uh, weight that the characters face on those kind of decisions. Yeah, do you choose your friend and destroy the world, or you save the world and let go of your friend? That's a massive weight to consider. Oh, yeah. Even Frankly, if I was placed in that situation, I think I'd crack. I already would. It's one of those kind of things you don't really have an answer for until you're actually faced with the question. Yeah. Again, beat! Hair and Night Raid. We've seen them before in different colors. <laughs> I gotta say, the, somebody missed. The jewel in the middle of the rabbit's head makes it look like a third eye. Kinda, yeah. One thing I love about this game, one thing I love in general, I said this before earlier, even though they're like the same kind of sprites at their core, sometimes they'll put in like enough of a difference that makes the monsters look completely different, which, which I really like as a nice touch. More so with uh, 3D games, because yeah, with 2D games when you got sprites, you do have to consider the cartridge limitations, so right. you can only get away with changing the colors. But in 3D games, when you have to deal with color uh, palette swaps, they go out of their way to maybe, say, uh, add something that wasn't there previously. But the only example I can think without there's an exception to that is actually Final Fantasy IV. Uh, the blue and red dragons in yeah. the Lunar, Lunar Ruins, the red dragons have uh, stripes. Right. The blue dragons don't. I may have been a whole different sprite then. Oh, no, it's the same sprite. You just gotta change the color a bit. Right. They probably, you know, wanted to say, hey, these dragons don't fuck around. And they don't. Especially if you're playing the DS version. Fuck them with the DS version. And Lori is really happy to have flown between the two worlds, even though we found up falling. Ironically enough, we got here on dumb luck then. There is no <laughs> fuel, we be fucked. <laughs> we were slingshot into the dimension. Boing, essentially. It was fired from Rex's rail gun. <laughs> but we're no Jupiter in sight. <laughs> You realize that's actually like some place in uh, Alaska? What? Jupiter. Jupiter? Yeah, I think so. It was actually oh, last I heard Jupiter was a planet. So same here, that's what I was like. Huh? <laughs> By the way, I missed the, the bear managed to miss me. Only because I like completely fucking not aimed for it. Oh shit, I'm gonna get hit by a wolf. Yeah, fuck you. Why was it blinking like that? Which one? That purple bear. <laughs> oh, because when if, when an enemy falls down and gets back up, they have temporary stagger immunity. Hmm. It's sort of like a way of like avoiding invincibility frames while sort of giving them at the same time. At least from staggering, anyway. You can right. Still, you can still hurt them. Right, but they yeah. also have higher defense as well. Cool orbit. That's a weapon for Genus. Genus, for some reason, gets a lot of elemental weapons, but he's not going to be fighting with elemental. <laughs> he's not going to be fighting physically. Is it a weapon or gum? It's a weapon. It's a Kadama. <laughs> yeah, I know that, but it sounds like gum. It does, don't it? Ooh, cool orbit. Genus always had a bad breath problem. Card of fire. Yep. There's one card for almost every element except darkness and light. I think, anyway. Angel Yggdrasil. He was unbelievably powerful. Like he, like he's our final boss or something. I don't get. I don't get it. You know why? They really have sporadic conversations with these guys. <laughs> That's one thing I like, is that you can also... It's like Final Fantasy IX in a way. Like, you can completely skip it, but then you miss out on some of the lore and, like, world building. Yeah. And you also... And I think it's actually a little more realistic. Graces goes fucking overhaul with it, but Graces has, like, the best skits in Tales series history, I think. So, it's like a moot point there. I was thinking... I was I was talking more about the, the, the sequence of the conversations. You know, uh, because we brought up... We brought up uh, I can't pronounce his name again. I've but you know, I you how many tangents both us and Brain Scratch go off on routinely? Yeah, no, but I'm talking more like in terms of the plot itself. You know, this is a game. We're we're, we're people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they, they were talking about uh, what's his it's name? It's a game. We're people, but this was no, made no. by people. Well, what, what was the name of the boss? Is it, what was the name of the, the angel again? The leader? Yggdrasil. You just what? Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil. See, I'm never gonna remember that. You know, we're talking. We're just, just call him. Uh, just call him Guilford. Disco Jesus. Disco Jesus, Jesus is funnier. Yeah. All right, Disco Jesus. They were talking about him earlier. They say like, ah, oh, like Christ, that guy was.
quite a handful. And then we talk about Kratos for a second. And then we talk about, you know, wow, this still what's different. And hey, this thing's different. Hey, Colette, are you going to talk to me about it? Come on, talk to me. Uh, what about that G Disco Jesus, though? Honestly, <laughs> it's, like, was, it's like our mind's racing. <laughs> honest to God, when you said it like that, it actually sounded like a coherent thought. All right, we got our asses kicked. Now we're going to go to a new world. Then we're going to go talk to. Then we're going to try to see if Colette can answer us. Then we're going to reflect on our own actions back at the Salvation Tower. Then we're going to go lay down some funky beats with Disco Jesus. And then we're going to come back here with Tate Allen. <laughs> Now we're going to Mel Tokyo. I know it sounds like we're going to a Tokyo XP, but actually we're just going to a uh, Europe XP or medieval Europe XP. See you guys in Mel Tokyo next next time.